Hi guys, Colsey. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can get some free games and sideload some free games uh, to your Quest 2 headset uh, via SideQuest. So we're going to be going through how to install SideQuest. A lot of people have been commenting asking how to install these games, so I figured making a little tutorial like this uh, wouldn't really take me too long and hopefully should help some of you guys understand how to do it so that you guys can get these cool free games as well. So we're going to need a few things. So I guess we'll go over those few things before we get started to make sure that you have everything so you can follow along with me. You're going to need your Quest 2 headset. You're going to need a link cable for that headset. Now, whether it's the official link cable or whether it's just a uh, USB-C to USB-A or USB-C to USB-C cable, um, I have mine here. This is my cable. Uh, it's a USB-C on this end. That's the end that plugs into the headset. And then it is plugged in via sort of a normal USB into the PC. Uh, that's what I'm going to use. You might be able to use a phone cable if you have one that is USB-C. Whatever cable you can get to work and connect your headset to your PC will work fine. It doesn't have to be the official link cable is what I'm saying. Uh, you're also going to need your phone with the Oculus app. You're just going to need this so that you can connect uh, in the Oculus app. You can connect your headset to enable developer mode, which I will briefly go over but it's pretty simple and then obviously we're going to need a pc uh, to do all this downloading and to install SideQuest on that's pretty much everything you should need don't need too much uh it's probably stuff you already have anyway if you if you're doing all this sort of vr stuff you probably got all this stuff so basically what SideQuest does is it will enable you to sideload which is just means that you're downloading from a non-official source so from the non-official oculus store uh, you're downloading games to the headset and you're loading them up. Now, obviously, the PC isn't running any of these games. These games will run natively on the headset themselves. Uh, it's just that you need to be able to do this to get them from the SideQuest store to the headset because these aren't available on the official Oculus store. Now, there's nothing to worry about. There's no danger of you being banned or anything like that. Uh, as far as I'm aware, it's just... That's just how it works. Same way that you can do it on your phone. If you enable developer stuff on your phone, you're able to download uh, apps and things from the internet and install them uh, without going through like the official Google Play Store or whatever. Let's get into this, shall we? Uh, and explain a little bit more about how this works. So all the links uh, for every site, etc., that I use uh, will be in the description. So you can go and easily access them there. Uh, just makes it a little bit easier for you guys. So you don't have to Google or search for these yourselves. First things first, uh, we're gonna download SideQuest. May as well, it's, it's the easiest thing to do. So we're gonna go to sidequestvr.com. Again, link in the description. Uh, here we are, this is the website. You can see that this is where a bunch of the games are and stuff that a lot of them are free, uh, which is the best part about this is you get access to some really cool free games. Uh, also, you just get to try out a bunch of new stuff that people are working on. On the website, we wanna click on get SideQuest up here uh, and you can download Windows, Mac, uh, Linux. Obviously, I'm on a Windows system, so I'm going to be specifically talking about the Windows download. So you want to download this from Windows here. After it's downloaded, you'll have the download. Run that, install that, do what it says. It'll install it. That's that's that. Done. Sorted. Easy peasy. So that is step one. We've got SideQuest downloaded. Uh, now we do need to do a little bit of uh, work with the Oculus and setting up a developer Oculus account because uh, like you do if you do this on a phone where you enable developer mode so that you can install apps from non-official sources, we have to do that with the Oculus headset as well. We have to enable developer mode on the Oculus so that it will allow us to do that. This is uh, developer.oculus.com uh, and this is slash sign up. I, I assume slash sign up is what you want to go to uh, because you want to sign up basically. So we're going to have to sign up to be an Oculus developer. Now that sounds complicated and like an official thing and <laughs> you might be a bit worried. Nothing to worry about. Uh, it's literally basically like saying, yes, I agree. I would like to be a developer. And they go, yeah, okay. If you want to be a developer, that's cool by us. You know, they want as many people to develop for their uh, platform as possible so they will allow anyone to do it. it. means that if you want to develop a game or something for an Oculus, uh, 
even if you are just like me, just like a person at home with a PC, uh, you're able to do that. So they they let anyone be a developer basically. So there's no worries there. There's no like process you have to go through to be like confirmed. It, it's pretty, pretty, pretty simple. If you do get confused by this video and you would rather have it in text form, there is like a, you're seeing on screen now, there's a bunch of steps here, but I'm just gonna quickly explain them as best I can. So yeah, so uh, like it says here, you wanna, be a, you wanna sign up as a developer, free, easy, quick, yep. You wanna go to the website, uh, and create an organization. Now, creating an organization just means that you have to create a name. It doesn't have to be anything, it's fine. You could literally call, just put your name in, it's fine. So you wanna create an organization and agree to the developer agreement on Oculus. Uh, and once you've done that, uh, that's all good. You're set up as a developer, which means that you will be able to uh, set yourself as a developer and sideload these apps. Step three, we have to install drivers on our PC. Uh, now, it sounds complicated, it's not really. If you go to this link here, uh, you'll be able to download the Oculus ABD drivers. Click this download button, uh, and then you have to, like it says here, very self-explanatory, to install the driver, unzip the package. So use WinRAR or whatever you have to unzip it. Unzip the folder, right click on the file called Android underscore WinUSB.inf, INF, and go to install simple as that so i have downloaded the driver it is here we're gonna unzip it we're gonna extract to the folder yep 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 right this is the folder for the driver we go in here we go in here uh when this is the file we're looking for android underscore win usb dot inf now we want to right click it and click install i'm not going to do this because i already have done it but that will basically just install it and it will say it's completed and all is good when that's done. So that's step three. Step one, we've downloaded SideQuest. Step two, we've signed up as a developer on Oculus. Step three, we've installed the drivers which are available from being a developer on Oculus. You can find it here. Uh, if you, you're signed in, you can go down to downloads uh, and you'll find the ABD drivers. But again, link is in the description. So uh, cuts all that having to find it yourself crap. Step four. So this is the step that we need the phone for. I assume you're going to have the Oculus app already installed on your phone. Uh, so basically what you want to do is you want to connect your headset to your phone on the Oculus app. This is quite self-explanatory and fairly easy to do. I mean, most of this is fairly easy. So what you want to do, you want to go to settings in the app, make sure that your headset is connected. It'll say connected, have a little green thing, go to more settings, go to developer mode and enable it. Make sure that that is turned on and that will mean that uh, your, your headset is then registered as a developer headset and you'll be able to sideload these apps. Pretty simple, easy peasy. And also it says here, once you've enabled developer mode, it's a good idea to reboot your headset. So, okay, do that, reboot your headset, make sure that that's done, uh, just, to, just to make sure that it's all nice and refreshed. So, easy peasy. We're very, very close to being done, so that's good. It's not that complicated to set up. It sounds a little bit more complicated than it was, and to be honest, uh, making this video, it is a little bit more complex than I remember doing, but it wasn't very difficult, and I did set it up, and it worked fine. I had no issues, so it, it can't be that difficult. If I can do it, it's not a problem. So in the Oculus app, you might as well do this on uh, step four. Uh, just make sure you have unlock pattern disabled because we don't want that on. As long as you've got a cable that works, whether it's a, a phone cable, the link cable, whatever, we all good. Just make sure that in the Oculus app, you have unlock pattern uh, turned off. Not sure why, but I didn't have it on, so I'm all good. And I never tried to do it while it was on, so that's all good. Right, almost done. Plug in the headset, and then inside the headset, you should be able to see a message that looks like this here. It says, allow USB debugging. Right, now that just means that we're gonna allow the PC to access the headset. So we're gonna click always allow from this computer because I assume you're gonna to want to do this multiple times, installing multiple games when you decide you want more games. So uh, tick the little box using your actual controllers and the headset and then click okay. And that's it, uh, you're sorted then. And that should be everything set up. So once we've got everything set up, you're probably gonna to wanna to install some games. So. I have opened SideQuest. This is SideQuest open now here, uh, and this is what it looks like. Currently, you'll see in the top left corner, it says not detected, which means that I currently do not have this headset connected because I don't have this headset connected. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do like the last step here. Now I've already enabled USB debugging because I've used this before. Uh, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug in the headset and this would be exactly what happens when you plug in your headset after you've followed all the steps uh, and after you've allowed the USB debugging. So. We plug in the headset. So now you'll see that in the top left hand corner, it now has gone green and it says Oculus Quest 2, which means that my headset is perfectly connected and we're all good, which is what we want because now we're gonna try installing some stuff. I'm gonna try and put my headset down somewhere. Uh, learn a bit more about the game. Uh, I don't know what this is. What is this? Oh, this looks like some sort of weird, cool meditation-y thing, no? 
I don't know. So basically we've clicked on it. I mean, we can go back and go back to like the main menu if we wanted and look at all everything we've got here. Um, but yeah, so it doesn't matter what we pick, whatever we decide that we want, uh, we we can click on, we can learn a bit more about, we can see uh, some, some screenshots and videos, etc. If we want to install it, as long as the uh, headset is installed and green up here, all we do is click install to headset. And it says installing, starting app install down the bottom. Now, if we want to check on that, we can click here and we can see that it's downloading the APK. So the APK is the file that it needs to install. So then we just let that do what it do. That's the great thing about SideQuest is just, it's just such an incredible like variety of content. And a lot of it is free or demos or even like, what was it down here? Uh, open brush, it's open source. Uh, so there's so much content here, so many games that you can play with and it's super cool. So uh, let's find the couple games that I played with. So we've got, it was hand physics. Hand Physics Lab, so this is one I had. I made a video on that. If you want to check that out, then please do check it out. I'll add a link in the description to it, but that's that's the Hand Physics Lab that I played with. That was the game where you don't need the controllers. It just tracks your physical fingers using the Quest 2. Uh, and the other one was Pokemon. Uh, the other one was Pokemon VR. I recently played that. That was super cool as well. But yeah, whatever you're fancying, uh, I don't know what else we can try. We can try... Um, type the word jump i'll oh, jump okay so we got like physics playground half-life in vr maybe that's something you want to play unofficial slender virtual reality a lot of these are actually very interesting to me <laughs> the world's your oyster at this point and then basically we just let it install uh oh it's currently installing uh, Liminal. Uh, it says APK file installed okay. So that's all done and that's all installed correctly. So now it's literally, we can just unplug the headset, use it. It's that simple. Now to find this in your headset, you might have to go to, right, let me have a brief look in here because I know that there's, I remember that there's a slightly weird way that you have to access um, the apps that you've installed, right. And then at the bottom here is unknown sources. So if we click unknown sources, you'll see that Pokemon VR and Liminal, the game that we just installed, that's where that is. Uh, so that's how you would access them uh, when you want to. That's pretty much the process of setting it up. Uh, apologies for that weird little bit at the end there where I had to put the headset on, but I did want to make sure that I showed you guys exactly where to find it because I know that when I first tried it, uh, that was a little bit confusing. Uh, but apologies that I had to do that in such a weird, crappy way. It's because my controllers are all the way over there and there's a million boxes in the way. I think, uh, I think you guys got the idea of how it worked anyway and how to access it. Hope this has been useful for you guys. Uh, I know that a lot of people have been asking for this and I hope that my explanation has been good enough. Uh, like I said, there is a, a perfectly good description on the actual SideQuest website, uh, but if you wanna follow along with the video, hopefully I've given you a little bit more insight in how this works. Links, like I said, are in the description. It's really not that difficult to set up uh, and it gives you access to a lot of a lot of free games, which is which is really awesome because I know that the Oculus Store can be fairly expensive if you want to buy games, uh, but if you just want to try out some cool stuff, then uh, being able to side quest some little apps that people are developing is really cool. And some of the stuff that people are making is absolutely incredible. And the fact that you are able to access it for free again is incredible so hopefully you guys enjoyed this hopefully this has been useful to you please remember to like comment and subscribe if you did enjoy this video if you want to check out some of the games i have played uh, that i have downloaded from sidequest i'll put a couple of links to those in the description uh, and i will definitely be playing more in future uh, so uh, be sure to subscribe and follow me for that anyway thank you guys and i will see you next time bye